Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Part 2 of day 3 here, and I'm pretty sure you now see why I decided to split up the days into multiple parts, because these days are going to be a lot longer thanks to those underground areas, and 20% of the depth has been recovered. Sweet! And, uh, yeah, lost the Pikmin. So, so sad. So... So sad, but it's okay, we can always breed some more of them, I suppose. Anyway, we should probably go through this route once again, because there is much more to see, much more to do, maybe, could be, might be. Oh, no, treasure detector we got in the last part is reacting. There appears to be some Carmex up on top of that uh, tree stump there, but uh, alas, we can't get up there. We can, however use our purples to get past this paper bag, because now that we got a bunch of purples, yeah, that's certainly something that's possible now. Before we had, we didn't have nearly enough uh, Pikmin to be able to get past that. Alright, so now we can explore this side. Oh, don't go in the water there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! Another hole! Astounding. My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press start pause to contact me and press R on the radar screen. Okay. <laughs> the exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie, and the Pikmin to safety. But chances are I'm not going to be doing that because I'm going to restart whenever things go awry. Um, now we got a new symbol on those circles up above. See that one on the far right? That's poison. Um, but... We don't have anything to deal with poison, but don't worry, don't worry, we'll be able to complete it, and you'll see why. So, let's delve down below, and see what random generated dungeons await us. <laughs> the White Flower Garden starts right here, right now. We got this industrial sort of kind of place here. And do not, and I repeat, do not throw Pikmin over the edge. They will most likely die. There's a glitch that if you throw one off the edge, it won't die, but I wouldn't take that risk. <laughs> so let's just uh, let's just make sure the Pikmin all make it through here this time. Hopefully, hopefully is the key word. And be careful of weird-looking soil. Maybe this is like colored toy sand. Like, you know those that sand that you can, that's different colors, you can build using it, and yeah, it's, it's that kind of sand, I'm not sure. But anyway, stuff is living in it, and it's not too healthy for us. Hey, we got some shoe polish going on here. I believe that's Kiwi shoe polish, I didn't really take a look, but I'll be able to uh, take a better look uh, when it reaches the ship, or, yep, yeah, it's Kiwi shoe polish. Uh, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh, why don't you guys take this back, too? Yeah, yeah, just just for just to bite our time here. <laughs> not much really going on this floor, so why not? <laughs> it's not really gonna hurt all that much. I mean, we've got a limited days, and yeah, <laughs> and it should be reaching the pod by now. There we go. It was being carried diagonally. It was partially driven into the floor. Yeah. Alien billboard! <laughs> and looks like this floor is cleared. Look, look at our treasure detector. Yep, it went out. Oh, no, 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 no! No, I want to go in, not throw Pikmin over the edge. That would have been a disaster to, to even lose one Pikmin after I've already pretty much beat the floor. <laughs> Actually, you know what I should do is dismiss the Pikmin with the X button before I try uh, entering one of those things, just so that I don't accidentally grab a Pikmin. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, sub-level 2 is here. Let's use our beeper there to find some treasure. Come on, beep. Beep, I want to show the usefulness of this. Oh, it's another bottle cap. See that? This gets all crazy when you get really close to it. But yeah, that's how the treasure detector is like. I didn't really describe that when I first, uh, when I was on that last floor, but yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. There's plenty of floors for me to explain stuff. Ooh, fiery blowhog. Uh, make sure you throw Pikmin on it when it's not facing a hole, because that might be the end of your Pikmin if it throws them off the edge like that. 
And obviously you want to be using red Pikmin to take care of them, not any other color of Pikmin, because they do have the element of fire on their side. Uh, that should be fine. They shouldn't be able to throw it off. Oh, jeez, that was close. <laughs> nah, I was far enough away from the edge. Dr. Pepper bottle cap! Looks pretty vintage. Drought Ender! <laughs> Because it had a little spout of sorts on it. And it's over for that uh, fiery blowhog. Hello there, diamond. Oh, it's more like a heart ruby of sorts. But yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bring it back, please. And that will likely end off the floor. Most likely. Probably. But let's just let's just wait it out here. Just no 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 one in the party. I don't want to throw Pikmin. Let's just wait it out here until they make it back. And they made it back. Is that all the treasure? We will soon see. Woo! Petrified hearts. Uh, yep, that's all the treasure. Watch the gauge at the bottom right corner. It turns to black and white. There we go. Now we can move on. Sweet. Hiya! Whoa! Notice how we haven't uh, encountered any poison stuff um, as of yet. Well, that's because we don't have the means to encounter said poison stuff. I should say dismantle said poison stuff just yet. Oh, but we will, and we will very soon. <laughs> this floor, in fact, I think. So let's just move on here. This place is really grimy. Ugh. I'm gonna have to shower after this. Ah, look at this. Ivory candy pop buds. Oh, ho, ho, I think you know what's coming. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How oh, mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into the flower. Well, let's toss him. Now let's first separate him by type so I don't accidentally throw some purples in there. Because I needed 100 purples for something a little bit later on. Yeah, I could just, that 42 is just fine. Yep. Everyone in. Everyone in. Everyone in. Well, everyone that can go in. <laughs> and let's start plucking. No, I, no, stop throwing. Just start plucking. And, oh, I should have Olimar with me. Ooh. New Pikmin species! It's so adorable and it's so hyper and super fast and it burps poison and you. Incredible! All right, Pikmin. It is tiny, but it looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin is not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. Must be an entirely new type, just like the purples. Our data recorded on this type is a blank page, as a certain this captain never documented them. <laughs> You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. Okay, let's grab Olimar around here. Uh, get get over here. Gotta get some plucking. Yeah! By the way, in case you didn't realize, Olimar and Louie have the same speed and traits and stuff like that, so there's no real reason to pick one over the other. Uh, so, yeah, make sure to use them to their fullest. Uh, I think everyone is here, right? Did I pluck everyone? Did I pluck everyone? Yeah, I think I did. Is all Pikmin here in case there's threats? Yes, they are. Oh, sweet. Now, let's look around here for some treasure because our treasure detector is still going. Uh-oh. Hey, what? What's this? The Pikmin appear to be uncovering something. Well, the white Pikmin do. Amazing. The white Pikmin had unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allows them to sense objects buried in the dirt. Oh, is that so? So, let's grab this gamma tape roll. Yeah, how the heck did something like that get buried perfectly underground like that? Was there like a, a cave-in or something like that? Well, anyway, let's move on here. And, oh wait, did I hear a honey wisp? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If there's a honey wisp, I want the honey wisp. Oh, yes there is. Uh, where to go? Oh, there you are. Yeah. yeah! Because I got some new Pikmin here, and yeah. So I'm gonna actually wait for them to plop that tape back into the pod and then get all the team together, because there are some leaves in this. So, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. By the way, um, White Pikmin, they have the weakest attack power of all Pikmin. 
Uh, but they are the fastest, so they're pretty nice for speedruns. Also, or also for uh, um, offsetting the timing of things. Also, if enemies eat them, because they're slightly poisonous, the poison will actually damage the enemy. But that doesn't mean you should be th haphazardly throwing white Pikmin into stuff, because, you know, white Pikmin are pretty dang useful. <laughs> so, yeah, let's let's not do that, and let's just, let's just things... Let, let, let things go naturally, basically. If they get eaten, okay, I guess. It's not preferred, but if they, if they get eaten, you know, we'll get a benefit out of it, basically. But you don't want them to get eaten still. Anyway, next floor! Oh! Woo! By the way, there are um, five floors to this place, if I'm not mistaken, of the, uh, uh, of this particular cave. So, we will be coming to the end of this shortly. Hopefully, maybe, might be. Who knows? Yeah, even though the areas are rather randomly generated, they do still s seem to have the same amount of floors. So, yeah, and now we got some poison pipes here to make use of our white Pikmin here. So, yeah, look at that! They're able to go in the poison without any issue whatsoever. Is that not sweet? I thought it would be. As a matter of fact, I should probably uh, separate the Pikmin here so I don't accidentally throw some Pikmin that are weak to poison into the poison because that would be very bad. Uh, I'll get that mushroom in a minute. I just want to make sure the place is clear of poison so that Pikmin does don't decide to like go off to the side or something to attack it or whatnot and yeah. <laughs> uh, chapstick? Chapstick, right? Yeah, oh, foof. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll be back for that in a minute. I didn't think the chapstick was going to be that heavy, but I guess it is. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking for some more poison pipes to uh, dismantle here with my team. And then I'll switch back over to uh, Olimar to get stuff on uh, his side. It's another one of those sort of multitasking tactics, I guess you could say. Alright, I'll throw those on there. Throw those on there. Poison won't hurt the captains, by the way, because they're in their suits. And, uh... I think it is clear, maybe, possibly, might be, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I think that mushroom as well as this chapstick are the only things, <laughs> survival ointment. I know that feeling. <laughs> My lips get very, very chapped, and thus I use a lot of lip balm. Dig it out of the ground, dig it out, come on, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, alright! <laughs> it just looks so silly when they dig stuff out of the ground. Plus the uh, the, the sounds that they make and whatnot. Anyway, they should be back with that uh, toadstool really quickly. And this floor should be complete, because those seem to be the only two treasures on this floor. Woo! Toxic toadstool! Yep, the treasure detector is sensing completion. Oh, by the way, the it seems like that the same types of enemies and treasures are on the same floors, uh, but, you know, the ra the layouts of them, like where they are and where stuff is, is randomized. So, yeah, there is a certain amount of guidance that I can do in this game. Woo! You know, besides teaching the survival tactics. Evil voice guy mentioned. <laughs> Moving on to what is, most likely, the final floor! Sub-level 5. Yup! Oh boy! Here we go! Get ready, folks! Because we are about to face a beast unlike any you have seen before. Well, actually, we might have seen some of these before. Hmm. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. It's the Burrowing Snagret! The boss of the area. Attack it with lots of Pikmin before it eats them and I win! <laughs> yeah, I knew it was coming, so that's why I was able to deal with it so quickly. And that's what you want to do, too, is whenever you can tell there's a place for a boss, like a really suspicious spot on the floor or something like that, Ready your purple Pikmin, and they will most likely take care of it very, very quickly. Well done, Captain Omar. You defeated that freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me. The treasure was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it was. I don't know how it managed to swallow a whole glove, but... Yeah, well, it's not a glove. Well, at least the game doesn't call it a glove. It's something else. <laughs> uh, I think there's another treasure hanging around on this floor, too. I could be wrong about that, though. Uh, well, let's just take a look around here uh, before we jump to any conclusions by going over to the geyser before we're finished and whatnot. How did, how did you two get left behind? What? And, uh, 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 is there any leaves in there? I don't think there are any leaves in there. Woo! It's the five-man knapsack! <laughs> this material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam task, conclusive, cross-stitching, successful, the knapsack is complete! When you have an unoccupied time interval, press and hold X to take a nap. Sweet! So, let's dismiss our Pikmin here and hold X. Yes, we can nap! We can nap, and you can use this to take, uh, you can have Pikmin take you back to, uh, the base. Oh, whoa, 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 these are good, I need other Pikmin for it. Um, those are Metites, if I'm not mistaken, their names are, oh, shoot, I lost them. Um, they're Metites, and if you kill them with stuff, they often drop awesome pieces of nectar like this, well, droplets of nectar like that, and I lost my opportunity, but I guess that's okay, because I don't really have all that many Pikmin to flower or anything like that, so yeah. But if you ever see those, just gather up your Pikmin, because they, as you can tell, they scare Pikmin away, and thus they become out, I mean, they get pushed out of your um, party. And then what you gotta do is you gotta um, throw Pikmin on top of them, you know, like purples or something like that to kill them quickly and then you should be able to get a bunch of nectar from them but I just was not quick enough because my team wasn't there and yeah it's okay we're gonna see more of the metites um, around there I see their metites or my tights because you know they're like mites but anyway yeah that's why I was kind of stumbling on its name because I was like hmm how is this pronounced I kind of forgot <laughs> it's spelled m-i-t-i-t-e-s Anyway, back to the Awakening Wood. Whew! Now, remember that I said that there was something to be found inside one of those potted plants up here? Well, now that I have white Pikmin, I may very well be able to do something about that. Ho 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 ho! And then all of a sudden the treasure detector is going all crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Iridescent Flint Beetle! If you flip it around, it's got some prizes for you. But you go, you can only flip it around by throwing Pikmin on top of it. Uh, no, no, oh, 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 got some more nectar out of that, and come on, come on, get more prizes, more prizes! Eee, eee. Give me, everyone, everyone. Ooh, oh, oh yeah, that is a sweet prize right there. Do you know what I got here? Do you know what I got here? The red liquid you see contains refined ultra spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Press down and spray its extract on your entire group. By the way, I haven't showed the ultra spicy spray yet, have I? Well, that's because I haven't really had a good opportunity to do so. Uh, what the ultra spicy do spray does is it powers up your Pikmin for a brief amount of time. Uh, so yeah, um, here's a little trick that you can do uh, whenever you see one of these droplets. I think this is a glitch, but I'm unsure about that. But get a captain right next to the droplet, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see this closely, and uh, push what, that captain into the drop, and now use the other captain to drink the drop, and you'll actually get two sprays for the price of one droplet. Is that not sweet? Yeah, it's like Pikmin drinking their nectar. Only it's with the captains. That's why I think it might not be a glitch, and it might be just some sort of uh, special secret. Uh, because, you know, Pik if Pikmin can do it, why can't captains do it? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was intended. But anyway, need to get some whites up there. Because they know something we don't know. Yeah, there's something buried in that pot, and perhaps it is being cultivated. It is... I think it's an onion. Yeah, it's an onion bulb. Well, I shouldn't say it's an onion bulb. A bulb like that could be a whole host of plants. Because <laughs> there's all sorts of types of plant bulbs, and yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what kind it is. I'm pretty sure it is an onion, but yeah. Um, uh, everyone's flowered here. Why am I letting them pick grass? Or say, why did I get them to pick grass? I don't know. <laughs> Woo! 
And we get... We get... The Pilgrim Bulb! Yeah, it's still kind of vague as to what it actually is, but that is alright. Uh, I'd like to start knocking down one of those poison walls uh, with my white Pikmin, if at all possible, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull it off on this day because time is getting a little tight here. So yeah, let's just see uh, where we get here um, in terms of being able to get stuff set up for the next day. So let's let's get Pikmin, well let's, I should say let's get white Pikmin on here on the wall. I should use the C-Stick actually, it's a lot faster, there we go. And uh, then I'm gonna do use the other guys here. Uh, where's Olimar? Where did I leave Olimar? Did I leave him back? Hold on, I wanna see. Did I leave him all the way? Where did I leave Olimar? Is he? Wait, is he here? Where is? Where? He is way back over there. What? How did I leave him behind? Behind? Oh, forget it. <laughs> Oops, and I took the wrong route. This is going swimmingly, isn't it? Um, you can get up there with your Pikmin, but I wouldn't recommend it because there really isn't anything to do. Uh, there's another poison wall, but again, you can't really... You don't really have enough time to take down more than one wall, and it's it's going to be pushing it if I even manage to take down um, one of these walls, so yeah. Um, anyway, what I should do then is make the most of the rest of this day. So, what I'm going to do here is throw some Pikmin around, and I'm going to get Olimar over by those white Pikmin, just so that I have a way to call them back into my squad. Because at the end of the day, if Pikmin are not at the home base, or in your squad, they will be left behind, lost, and eaten by predators. Yeah, it's kind of cruel, but that is nature. <laughs> so, uh, oh, they're almost, well, I should, not almost done, but they are on the second stage of, uh, oh, almost sundown. Probably not going to be able to make it in time to the uh, next underground area. Oh, huh, huh? Omar, oui. the sun will be setting down, uh, setting soon. Call the Pikmin, do you? This planet has native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Hold your Pikmin into the onion and yourself into my hall so we can take refuge in low orbit. Pikmin and your squad will enter the Onion on their own at day's end, so call them all to you. So, yep, this is sort of a description that I already described. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, it would probably be in my best interest to uh, do the next dungeon on the next day. Well, maybe. Wait, there's no there's no uh, berries on that one. Whoops. <laughs> Let's get those berries so I can get some sprays. Ten berries equals one spray, remember that. Remember that. Um, take these back, I suppose. By the way, um, until you have, uh oh, until you have um, different colored Pikmin, uh, they will always take them over to the uh, red onion. So yeah. Okay, I've got this many. Are there any stragglers around this place? Pause the game, and uh, you'll be able to see. Whoops, why did I do that? Pause the game, and you'll be able to see where the Pikmin are on the map. They are showed as glowing dots. Uh, okay, I've got 79 here, so I'm gonna switch. And, yeah, they're, they're not going to make it in time. 7, 15, hold on, hold on, I just want to, just want to look, I'm, mm, 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 mm. Are they all safely at base? I guess 79 plus 15 is not 95. <laughs> uh, I know there's those five Pikmin over here, but they're, they're going to be safe overnight because they're underneath their onion. But what I'm thinking about is, where is, oh, shoot, it's over... It's, oh, wait, 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 it's, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, uh, over here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it in time. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> I didn't think so. So I lost one Pikmin to the sunset. Oh, how cruel. But since I bred so many Pikmin this day, it, it doesn't really matter all that much in the long run. It's just that I was throwing Pikmin all around that, uh, um, the, the berry area, you know, so I could get, uh, Pikmin to get berries wherever they drop off of. Wow, there's a burrowing snaggeret. Well, enjoy your Pikmin meal, I suppose. <laughs> and the day is finished. Let's see our report. What'd I get? How are the results? Pretty good, pretty good. 
If only I could have gotten to that other dungeon uh, today, but eh, I guess not. I guess not. But yep, yeah, still got a Pikmin profit going on here despite the few losses because I was breeding them like crazy. Got some email. How's the progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Be sure to hold R occasionally for a close-up view of the action. I shall. Well, maybe not. It's not all that useful. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.